as I try, somehow it, it just won't come out, that's all. You go ahead and do the singing and playing for me, and I'll sit back and watch you do it. All right, you don't. You can't get out of it now, man, can you? Well, I'll tell you what, Rusty. Well, I'll tell you what, Rusty. You hit it up, but believe me, boys, it's gonna hurt. What's it gonna be? Coming around the mountain. Coming around the mountain? It's coming around the mountain, it shall be. You know, I was just looking. Yeah, uh, yeah, you were just looking for another drink. Isn't that right? Well, not exactly, but now that you mention it, it's an excellent idea. Let's roll them. Oh, now you know I don't gamble. Well, I'll shoot you for them. Oh, why, why, you couldn't hit an elephant with a bass fiddle. Oh, I couldn't, could I? Say, I'm the best shot in Red Rock. Why, I'm just as steady as the rock of Gibraltar. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, look at it. <laughs> Hold it still so that I can see it, will you? Hey, hey Joe, Joe, <laughs> set up the target, will you? All right. There she is. I'll shoot first. All right. <clears throat> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'll make you a proposition. If you hit it once out of the six shots, you win. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> hey, you, why don't you look where you shoot? Eh, it must be my eyes. <laughs> well, why don't you try it with your eyes closed? Well, I got nothing to lose. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Who says I can't shoot? <laughs> I never thought you'd make it. Oh, sure. I could have did it the first time. <laughs> Charlie, Pop wins big yeah. on me. <laughs> but give it to him tomorrow. He's had plenty for today. Oh, Ray, no. Now, 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 uh, now, 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 that's one you got coming. Oh, <laughs> I'm sore. Wonder what's keeping that guy. I don't know if he'd be here by this time, boss. Here he comes now. Here it is, Mac. I searched the whole range. That's all I could find. Reach high. All of this. Get up. Stick him up. You're the gang that I've been following for a long time. And I'll finally run you down. Your cattle rustling days are over. You've stolen cattle from most every ranch in the state. But believe me, you're through. Come on. Ray, I'll take these fellas over. Say, a couple of you fellas take the sheriff out of here. Well, young man, you certainly have done a great day's work. And on top of that, you win the reward. Reward? Well, yes, seeing that these men were wanted in three states for cattle rustling, and you kept them busy here till I got here. But, Marshal, what do you mean by the reward? Why, you get $5,000. $5,000, Marshal? Why? It sounds too good to be true. I can hardly believe it. Now I can take that long vacation I've planned for a long time. It may take a few days before you can collect, but they'll send it to you just as quickly as possible. Congratulations, young man. Oh, shucks, Marshal. I figured from the way you talked that I could start on my holiday list. No, I'm sick and tired of it. I made you a lot of cattle. Oh, well, it won't hurt you. Come on. Cheer up. Tell you what I'll do. I'll lend you a thousand dollars right now. So you can go on your trip. And you can pay me back when you receive your reward. How's that? Oh, I couldn't accept that. Ah, no, 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 no. Come on. If you hurry right over to the bank, they'll cash that for you. You've only got about 15 minutes. Boss, you're the swellest fellow I ever met. And I'll accept this holiday on you. You're welcome. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good luck. Marshal, we've searched every place he's gone. Oh, that's all right. We'll get him later. Come on, you fellas. Get going. Go on. <sighs> Better put that in a safe place, Ray. That's a lot of money. You don't want to lose it. I won't. This means a lot to me, Mr. Wood. This means a vacation. When are you starting? Right now. There's no time like the present. I suppose you'll have to get yourself rigged up first. <laughs> no. I'm leaving just as is. Well, of all the darn fools. Well, I sure hope you have a nice holiday. Thanks. I will. Bye. So long.
Annabelle. Uh, how could you? <laughs> After all these years of our companionship, you've betrayed my trust. Annabelle, how could you do it? And here I am, on the verge of getting my reward for trailing the worst bandit that... I beg your pardon, I mean the worst killer that ever came to Red Rock, and... <laughs> so, you can't take it, huh? Huh? Show me your life! That's better. That... that's better. Now, oh! Get that... Get that off my foot! Hey! Oh! <laughs> Annabelle, someday you're gonna make me lose my temper. And when I do, look out! But when I'm wild, I don't know my own strength. Annabelle, our foe approaches. He thinks he could elude us, but he don't know he's dealing with the human bloodhound of the West. Annabelle, prepare yourself for physical combat. Sitting here at present, but I had other plans. Annabelle, you've let me down again. What are you trying to do? Annabelle spoiled my perfect plot to ambush you. Why ambush me? You know why. The first day you showed your nose in Red Rock, you promised to buy me a drink. And what did you do? You killed the sheriff and then walked out on me. Listen to me. If you ever mention that sheriff again, I'll drill daylight through you. The, 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 the sheriff incident is forgotten. I was talking about the drink, Binks. Oh. Now you're talking sense. I'll pay for that drink. Hold on there. I feel in a sporting mood. I won't gamble with you. You don't have to gamble. I'll do it. Here's my proposition. If I throw a seven, the first time, you owe me two drinks. If I don't throw a seven, the first time you win and you don't owe me anything. What do you say? That's all right with me. And when you're through with the dice, I'll make you a proposition. What do you say to that? All right with me. But listen, my proposition first. All right. Roll them out. Roll them? <laughs> Baby, get ready for the biggest seven on earth. Uh, Annabelle, throw your clover breath on it. No, you don't. You threw me down once. Get ready to fire and fall back. Well. Ha, <laughs> ha! Seven she is. This is my lucky day. I win. Sure is. I never thought that... Luck, did you say? Sure. These dice are crooked. Crooked? Hey, I, I've been swindled. I paid good money for those dice. Are you sure you didn't know these dice were crooked? Why, well, I should say not. I wouldn't do a thing like that. You know, they kill people for cheating. They should. I'll tell you how honest I am. I'll flip your coin. I'll take heads. What do you take? 
In that case, I'll take tail. Good. Tails you win, heads I win. Here she goes. Ha! Heads it is, I win. That's two yomi. I'll give you another chance, what do you say? All right. All right. For nothing. Sure. I take heads again. Over, Over up. <laughs> heads, I win. <laughs> That's for Yomi. You want to go again? I'll give you another chance. Eight or nothing. Well, this is getting a little expensive. Let it go. I'll take heads. Come on, you head. Now listen, you little cheat. Hey, listen. Don't you call me no cheat. Shut up yeah. before I slap you down, do you hear? I hear. Now this is what you're gonna do. You're going back to that Red Rock Saloon and tell them you saw me heading for the Brand Ranch. But you ain't heading for the Brand Ranch. You're gonna tell them you saw me heading for the Brand Ranch. Do you understand? I understand. Just my luck. No bullets. And I could have shot him down like a rat. Sixteen drinks. That would have been a career. doing? Plenty. I'm afraid we'll have to clear off for a while. Why, uh, what's the matter? Things are going to be a little too hot around Red Rock. I had a little trouble. Why, what happened? Well, they, the sheriff must have trailed Shorty from the Henderson job. Anyway, he was just making the payoff to me when the sheriff walked in. They got Shorty and Pete, but I plugged the sheriff and made a getaway. You know, you can't go on shooting people forever and get away with it. Oh, that was the only way. Are you, uh, you sure you're not being followed? Of course I'm not. What do you think I am, a sucker? I ran across a bar fly from Red Rock, but he's all right. Let's not take any chances. Red, come here. Take a ride down the road a ways and see if anyone is coming. All right. Hey, listen, you know that big ranch just south of Watsonville? Yeah, I believe I do. You mean the Peterson Cattle Ranch? Yes, that's it. Yeah, and if I remember rightly, he's got a pretty nice-looking daughter, too. But right now, forget the daughter. I just got a swell tip from Charlie, and I thought you might want to pull off one more job before we clear out. Well, what is it? This guy, Peterson, just drew out $10,000 from the Watsonville Bank. In cash? Yes. Charlie was there, and he heard him say he was going to pay off a mortgage or something. And he ought to be at home right now. Uh-huh. Well, if he's got it, it's as good as ours. I'll handle this job myself. You pack up our stuff here, and I'll meet you at the canyon hideout in a couple of days. Well, uh, don't you think I'd better go along, Jim? You'll do as you're told. I'll see you in a couple of days. As you say, Max, you're the boss. No harm if I get cleaned up a little, pal.
You will be careful, won't you? Why, of course I'll be careful. Say, are you sure that money belt's on tight? Tight? It's on so darn tight I can't hardly breathe. <laughs> You're carrying a lot of money, Dad. Why, of course that's a lot of money. Well, I hope nobody knows you're carrying it. Well, why should anybody know that I got that money from the bank today? I'm going right down and pay off that mortgage and get the blame thing over with. Dad, won't you have one of the boys go with you? That money means so much to both of us. And, and if anything should happen, I'd never forgive myself. Well, now, you just go right in the house and get a book and sit down and read. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Okay. Let's see. You lose something? Why, of course I lost something. I... Oh, I know. You forgot your glasses. That's it. I left them in on the dining room table. I know. I'll get them and be right back. Fine. What happened? John, a man just killed my father. Who was he? I don't know. But you call the sheriff in Watsonville. He's headed that way. I'll take after him. You better give me your gun.
your hands, you. I said put them up. There must be some mistake, lady. Oh, no, there isn't. You're coming along with me. What's this all about? Get going. Go on. All right. Now get on that horse. Why? That isn't my horse, lady. I've never seen that horse before. Of course you haven't. That horse belongs to my father, the man you just murdered. That I murdered? Yes, you. Why, well, I don't understand. Would you mind explaining? You'll get all the explanations you want from the sheriff. Now get mounted. All right. Peterson, what's this all about? Why, Sheriff, this man just killed my father and robbed us of all the money we had. Why, it's impossible, Sheriff. I've never seen this lady before or her father either. That's a lie. Sheriff, I followed him from my house to the brook. And what's more, he's got my father's horse. Well, I just stopped at the stream to wash up and fix a little grub when this lady came along and accused me. You had a very clever plan, but it didn't work. What do you mean? Why, he started his fire came to my house and committed this terrible crime, then doubled back to his camp. What about Peterson's horse? Well, well, somebody That's must... enough of that. We'll take him on into town. <clears throat> Come on. Shave? Yeah. Trim the mustache, too. What's on going on on John Day? I don't know. Something must have happened. You know that last week they were looking all over this town for a killer. They had a reward out for him, dead or alive. And he was sitting right here where you are all the time. You know I could have had that $1,000 just like that. I always said it was just as easy to cut a man's throat as it was to shave him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, concentrate on shaving this one. I gotta get out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on, come on, what are you stopping for? Listen, Sheriff, this thing's gone far enough. You folks have had your way. I had no way of defending myself, and I didn't know what it was all about. Especially, I couldn't argue with a lady, one as sweet as this one. Especially when she held a gun on you. So far, I haven't had a chance to identify myself, Sheriff. I see a way now. If you let me down off this horse, I'll give you my word I won't do anything wrong. All right, stranger, get down. All right, identify yourself. You show me the fellow that rode that horse in the town, Sheriff, and I'll show you the man you want.
Well, up there. Sheriff, this is my horse, and I'm innocent. You'll have to do plenty of proving to convince me of your innocence. Who rode that horse? Not I. I said, who rode that horse? I did, Sheriff. What's all the excitement about? Well, you finally caught up with him, eh, Sheriff? Good work. We'd like to know where you got that horse, stranger, and where you came from. Why, uh, I'm a cattle buyer from Chicago. Came out here to buy some cattle from Ed Peterson. And this fella held me up. He took $300 in my horse and left this one. Why, Sheriff, do you think I, I don't know? Search him, boys. Why, there's no use searching him, Sheriff. He's probably hid the money by now. I'll admit that that's my horse. But I didn't hold him up or take his 300. You're just stalling. I can prove it. Don't believe him, Sheriff. Hold on, stranger. What have you got to say, son? Would you trade 300 for 1,000? Talk sense, young fella. Well, that's what he'd like to have you believe. What do you mean? In the folds of that saddle blanket, you'll find $1,000. Do you think I'd run off and leave that? Ned, see if he's right. There you are, Sheriff. Well, I reckon you're right about this. Why, there must be some mistake. You're right. There is a mistake. Open your shirt. What do you mean? You've got a money belt on, and I want to see it. Oh. Stand where you are, or I'll shoot. Not a move out of any one of you. Where you are, not a move out of you. Hurt bad, fella? You went that way, boys. Come on. <coughs> no, I'm all right. Oh, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Isn't there something I can do? I take a lot more than this to meet you, Miss. See you later. Let's split up. You boys take the high trail and I'll take the lower.
There's Ray down there. Looks like he's hurt. Better hurry down and see if we can help him. Did you catch him? No, but we will. Are you hurt? No. Only I'd feel better if we catch that hombre. I'm going to the ranch. How do you do, Miss? Did they catch him? I'm sorry. So he got away. Well, if there's any justice in this world, that man will be caught and made to pay for his crime. I'm afraid that'll take some time. You mean everything is lost? Well, a man like that doesn't take any chances. I'm afraid I don't understand. You know, he might come back if there was something for him to gain. Isn't there anything we can do? You see, the ranch meant so much to us, and Dad worked so hard. <laughs> it meant a lot to you, Virginia. And, uh, pardon me, I, I mean, Miss Peterson. You were right the first time. Do you mind if I stay around a while? There's something I might be able to do to help. Why, of course not. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. Say, whose horse is that over there? Why, it belongs to Dr. Pine. Dr. Pine? Isn't he the county corner, too? Yes. I've got an idea how we can bring this man to justice. Say, could I talk to Dr. Pine? Why, certainly. He's in the house. Fine. Dr. Pine, I'd like you to meet Mr. Healy. How do you do? Glad to know you, Doctor. Doctor, I believe I have a plan to catch our man. Will you work with us? Why, certainly. Well, you know, I know that this isn't going to be pleasant for you, Virginia. I don't mind. I'm willing to do anything to bring that criminal to justice. Well, here's our plan, Doctor. I'm going down to see Jones, our banker. I know I can convince him. Hey, Lou, listen to this. What's that? Community mourns the death of Rancher. Funeral services to be held at the Peterson home. Friends to attend. The long arm of fate. That's me. <laughs> Reached out yesterday and took the life of one of Wilson County's most revered citizens. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Sheriff Watson is making every effort to lay hands on the criminal who so brutally murdered Peterson. <laughs> hey. The Mutual Life Insurance Company has stated that Peterson's insurance will be turned over to Miss Peterson at the time of the funeral services in cash. The amount is said to be $10,000. Ten thousand dollars. You know, I could use that money. I guess you could use some of it yourself, huh? Could I? I think we'll attend that funeral. Hey, miss! Come here! What is it? What's all the excitement up there? There's no excitement. It's my father's funeral. Oh. I'm sorry. Say, miss, is Ray Healy inside? Yes, he is. Are you a friend of his? Sure. I'm his pal. Of course. You must be Pop. Uh-huh. Ray told me you were helping him find that man. What man? Why, the man he told you about. You haven't forgotten his proposition. Remember? He said something about a few drinks. Oh, I knew there was something I should have done to get those ten drinks, and I, I couldn't remember it. Well, I've got to get inside now. You've got too much on your mind to be a successful sheriff. 
you're too busy thinking about important things to worry about a few drinks. Yes, I guess you're right. It, uh, it, 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 just, wait, I'm never too busy to worry about a drink. Ten drinks, huh? <laughs> Annabelle, I've been grossly insulted. My old friend Ray says that I can't catch a criminal. We'll show him. For ten drinks, I'll get him and shoot him down like the rat that he is. <laughs> well, <laughs> a little dusty. Guess I'll have to get it ready for action before we start. So you know what to do. Yeah. And in case we have to split up, we meet at the Canyon Hideout. Right. Well, come on, let's see what's over at the house. Hey, I've got you. Thought you'd get away from me, eh? You've got what? What is this, a game? No. Well, I... I almost had you. What do you want with us? Well, you see, it's this way. A friend of mine is going to buy me ten drinks if I could as much as tell him where you were. <laughs> is that so? Yep. So I thought if I'd, I'd catch you, he might raise the ante. Hmm. Well, who is this big-hearted guy? <laughs> Ray Healy. He's over in the house now. Ten drinks? That guy's a piker. You're being underpaid. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you twenty drinks. Hey, wait a minute. Twenty drinks? What do I have to do? Just watch these horses till we get back. That's too good to be true. Say, when do I collect? Just as soon as we come back for the horses. It's a bet. I'm sorry that you had to go through with this, but it's the only way we can bring the crook to justice. I'd do ten times more to bring that man to justice. Do you really think he will come here? I'm backing everything I have that he'll be here. Oh, I do hope you're right. Pardon me, please. Yes. Please find yourself a chair, doctor. Thank you. It's almost time, and he isn't here yet. Maybe he'll be here a little later. I cannot tell you how sorry I am, but the Lord has ways of bestowing his blessings. You must bear up and place your faith in his hands. That's right, Reverend. Are you a relative, sir? Yeah. yeah no, I'm, I, I'm just a friend. He's oh. a very good friend of mine, Reverend Gray. Oh. Do you think maybe we'd better tell the Reverend that... that... It has come to my ears that a certain insurance company is using this side event to advertise their business in order to get new clients. Oh, I don't think that is the reason. I think it a very generous gesture. You see, I need the money very badly, and they want to do all they can to help me. Do you mean, say, that the agent is here with the money? Oh, yes, sir. Mr. Jones of the bank has 10,000 cash, sir. Oh, I see. Stick him up. All of you. Got to move out of any one of you. All right, Mr. Jones from the bank. I'll take that money. Come on, come on. Drop that gun. Come on, drop it, I said. So you fell in our trap, eh? I'm sorry. I had to play such a trick on all you good people. There isn't any insurance money. But this is the only way I had to catch this would-be murderer and thief. He tried to kill me. 
and he robbed me of every cent I've got in the world. And I can thank this young man for everything. It was his idea. Run him out of the county. Shoot him. No, 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 my friend. Reach for the ceiling. Put up that gun. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you folks, but your little trap didn't work. Don't move. My 20 drinks. Oh, Ray, do be careful. Pull the shark quick. Which way are you going? I'm taking the shortcut. Hey, Ray. Ray, wait, wait a minute. He's all yours, Sheriff. Good work, Ray. I was so worried about you. Are you all right? I'm all right. This one time, he'll never get away. Let's go home and tell Dad. All right. Say, uh, boy, give me that money belly down. My money belt? Hey, what is that money belt? <laughs> all right, bring that belt here. Thanks. This belongs to your father, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, I, I think we'd better get it to him before we lose it again. It's fine work, Ray. Two rewards in one week. Keep it up. You'll soon be rich. I want to congratulate you. <laughs> well, I'll soon be down to collect all that money that's coming to me. And be sure and have it. Well, Bean, you two won't need us anymore. We'll go along and put this somebody where he belongs. Take good care of him. Well, adios. <laughs> Uh, 
I can't imagine why they're not back. If they don't catch him, I'll lose my ranch and everything. Why, here comes someone now. Did you catch him? Yes, Dad. And you'll have to thank him. He was wonderful. I'm mighty thankful. Oh, Daddy, don't you think you better go pay off that old mortgage right away? Yes, I think I ought to. Right away. I don't know how to thank you for all that you've done for us. You were marvelous. Oh, and I want to apologize for the silly way I acted when I first saw you. Oh, I don't want you to thank me. You, I'd do the same thing over again. And you've been marvelous all the way through. You know, I have been one to, uh, well, I've been one to... Yes, Ray? Well, you know, this is the first time I've tried to tell you this, and I really don't know how to go about it. Would you? Would I what? Well, I'm going on a long trip soon, and it'd please me very much if you'd come with me and answer when people call you Mrs. Healy. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place, Mr. Healy? You mean you will? Of course I will. Not here. Oh. 